Yo guys, I hope you're well. So guys, we've had a truly rotten time of it since the general election. And guys, some of us actually believed and thought that things may pick up after the previous shower was ousted. But in reality, people, this shower, this current shower, is proven to be even more pernicious than the last. So guys, over the next few minutes, seconds, moments, whatever it is, I think it's time we gave ourselves something to calm our nerves down, people. And it's time, guys, to take a step back for a while. And guys, in my opinion, this next person should be nominated for a medal, a knighthood, a gong, an award of some sort, people. And we are going back to about four years, people, to the time of lockdown, when Sir Keir, we'll call him Sir Keir, was leader of the Labour Party, but also he was basically taking them through lockdown as opposition leader. So guys, we're going to go to, I think it's Bath, and it's a Bath pub landlord. And this is his experience <laughs> with Sakir Starmer people. People, please watch this. This is incredible. I came here to speak to this man, not your security. Uh, uh, you have failed me. Thank you. Okay. We, I've been a Labour voter my entire life. You have failed to be the opposition. You have failed to ask whether Guys, lockdown sorry, was functioning. Just behind. Can just, we just do you leave? understand? Should we, Should we go on in? Thousands of people have died because what? you have failed to do your job and ask the real questions. Well, I am telling you now, and I hope this goes out. I don't know if you call it, people. So we've got an irate supporter of the Labour Party and he has been approached by Keir Starmer and this irate supporter of the Labour Party is saying that Sir Keir Starmer has not done his job and he is absolutely incensed with Keir Starmer and Keir Starmer is telling this person I do not agree with you, I do not agree with you so this is almost like Sir Keir Starmer's Gordon Brown moment where was he? Was Gordon Brown in somewhere like Blackburn or something? And he was approached again. So Gordon Brown was campaigning for the election, if I remember rightly. And there was a lady and she basically had a bit of a disagreement with Gordon Brown. And when Gordon Brown turned, he basically said some disparaging remarks to the woman. Well, not to the woman, but about the woman. And it was caught on camera or it's caught on the microphone. And that really did hurt Gordon Brown's whatever. It really hurt him badly. So... This is a moment where Keir Starmer, and I think at the time he was saying he was such a people person and he was going to listen to the people. He had his chance to listen to the people. And basically, he's now disagreeing with his target audience. And these are the people that actually support Labour. Guys, I'm just going to run that again and just let, just, just let this sink in. Speak to this man, not your security. Uh, uh, you have failed me. Thank you. Okay. We, okay. I've been a Labour voter my entire life. You have failed to be the opposition. You have failed to ask whether Guys, lockdown sorry, was functioning. Just behind. Can we just Do you leave? understand? Should we, Should we go on in? Uh, thousands of people have died because what? you have failed to do your job and ask the real questions. Well, I am telling you now, and I hope this goes out, you have failed this country. You have. They've been on the front line keeping people alive. So I really don't need lectures from you about this pandemic. You can... Oh, I really don't need lectures from you about this pandemic. Guys, where have we seen that same terse nature from Keir Starmer? Where have we seen that same dismissive nature from Keir Starmer recently? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder where we saw that recently, people. So this is him. I don't need lectures from you. They're on the front line. I don't need... Le oh, my goodness. Let's carry you on. You've got one. Why? Can we come in? OK. What are you doing? Good. Thank you. Here's the landlord. Here's the landlord. That man. <laughs> I'm not allowed in my pub. Here's the landlord. <laughs> I'm not allowed in my pub. That man. <laughs> 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 I'm not bothering 
I'm not bothering him. That man is not allowed in my pub. Get out of my pub. Get out of my pub. Sent away with his tail between his legs. I'm so sorry, people. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. I've got to play it again. I've got to play it again. For some reason, I've got just... For some reason, just visions of things like Frank Spencer and things like this all rolled into one. Gordon Brown, Sakir Starmer. What an absolute PR own goal, people. Guys, I'm going to wheel that again. It's got to be watched. So literally, Sakir Starmer says to the Labour supporter... Not interested in you. Get out of my face. You're nothing. I speak to the frontline people. You're nothing. You're nobody. Get out of my face. Why should I listen to you? I'm not taking lectures for you. And then he makes a massive own goal, a massive, massive PR mistake by walking into this guy, Labour supporter, but he doesn't realise it is the Labour supporter's pub. He's the landlord. <laughs> you can't make it up, people. You can't. You just cannot make it up, people. Why? Can we come in? Okay. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Thank you. Okay, the landlord. He's the landlord. That man is not allowed in my pub. He's the landlord. I'm not going to physically hurt him. That man. Oi! Oi! I'm not bothering you. I am not bothering him. That man is not allowed in my pub. Get out of my pub. Go on. Get out of my pub. I'm sure there are thousands and thousands and thousands of British citizens who would love to say those words. Get out of my pub. Get out of my house. Just get out of my face to Sakir Starmer. Guys, I, I'm so sorry. I have to watch that one more time. It is one of the do you know what? It is funny, but it's a, such a serious and solemn occasion because this was about lockdown where people lost their lives. But it just shows you the ignorance and just the absolute way this man just rides roughshod over people. He couldn't care less about anyone apart from himself and, and his plans of actions. And if he steps over people, we are collateral damage. It doesn't matter. We're just collateral damage. Guys, this is it. This is the last time. I came here to speak to this man, not your security. Uh, uh, you have failed me. Thank you. Okay. We, I've been a Labour voter my entire life. You have failed to be the opposition. You have failed to ask whether Guys, lockdown sorry, was functioning. Just behind. Can we just Do you please? understand? Can we, can we go on in? Thousands of people have died because what? you have failed to do your job and ask the real questions. Well, I am telling you now, and I hope this goes out, you have failed this country. You have. They've been on the front line keeping people alive. So I really don't need lectures from you about right. this pandemic. You've you, you you got one. <laughs> Why? Can we come in? Okay. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. Here's the landlord. Here's the landlord. That man. I'm not allowed in my pub. It's the landlord. I'm not going to physically hurt him. That man. <laughs> I'm not bothering you. I am not bothering him. That man is not allowed in my pub. Get out of my pub. Go on. Get out of my pub. Sorry, can you keep out of the way? Thank you. Keir thought he was going to escape him by getting into the pub or ducking into the pub, but he actually walked straight into the lion's den. That is probably the best moment I've seen in politics, people. Fantastic. I mean, most of us would just love the opportunity just once to tell someone like Sakir Starmer, get out of my house, get out of my pub. Really? He has absolutely no clue about the normal person. He has no clue at all. He says he's from the working class, but I don't think that is true at all, people. Keir Starmer is one of these people who walks around oblivious to what is going on. He only sees what he's interested in and what he's thinking about. Anything else is just, it's just noise, like white noise to him, isn't it?
doesn't matter. And he needed to be told. The guy, the pub landlord who told him, get out of my pub, should get some sort of medal. He stood up to this person here, who probably has never, ever been stood up to before. And he told him, get out of my pub. What a round of applause he deserves. He deserves a round of applause. He really Good does. Really Guys, I absolutely love that. That has made my day and it's cheered me up. And I hope it's cheered up a lot of you people as well. Just to know that your property is your property. And no matter who it is, you are the person, the arbiter, who invites someone to step over your threshold into your property. Did you see the way they tried to manhandle him outside of his own property? That was outrageous. That was outrageous. But that was fantastic, people. And you know what? When you guys are having a bad day or anything like that, just watch that video again. Play it. Rewind it. I'll put a link to the video down here in the comment section as well, guys, so you can see it for yourselves. But, yeah. Really? So he's been identified as a Labour supporter and Keir Starmer basically just kicked him to the curb. So if he can do that to his own supporters, what can he do to everyone else and what is he wanting to do to everyone else? That is the question that we need to ask ourselves, people. But in the great words of the Bath pub landlord to Keir Starmer, get out of my pub guys have a great evening whatever you get up to look after yourselves look after each other guys at the end of the day we can only do so much writing contacting our mps etc trying to do things the right way but at the end of the day guys we all need a breather and i hope that little section that little segment that little piece with a bath pub landlord has given you something that will raise a rice smile on your face and give you the courage and the energy to get up tomorrow and to fight another day. Guys, have a great evening. Look after yourselves, look after each other, and please make certain to come back to the next Urban Bars reaction, guys. I'm out.